Hey there, Tech Squad. Welcome back to another exciting episode. It's been an amazing few months on this YouTube journey, and I want to extend my gratitude to each and every one of you who've been a part of this fantastic ride. Remember, your feedback and thoughts matter, so don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. In this edition, we're diving deep into an eyebrow-raising revelation that's been brewing behind the scenes at Spotify. Brace yourselves because the White Noise podcast universe is central to a major controversy. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly are these White Noise podcasts that have caused such a stir? Well, picture this, crashing waves, chirping birds, and gentle rain falling all playing on a loop. These aren't just any sounds. They're the soothing symphonies of white noise and ambient podcasts. And as of last year, reports have shown these unique shows have been raking in some serious bucks for their creators. Imagine making at least $18,000 a month just by playing calming sounds. But that's not the only twist in the tale. Back in 2019, Spotify made a power move by acquiring the podcast creation app Anchor. Their goal? Empower the next generation of podcasters to captivate audiences and cash in on the chatter. And guess what? They nailed it. With a whopping 44% of all podcasts now hosted on Anchor, the podcastiverse is buzzing with creativity. But here's the plot twist. Not all creators fit the mold of talk show hosts or story weavers. Enter the white noise podcasters, the mistros of tranquility and serenity. What seemed like algorithmic sorcery was boosting these podcasts, attracting legions of listeners seeking solace and relaxation. Well, buckle up because we now have documented proof. A secret internal document viewed by Bloomberg unveiled a bombshell statistic, white noise, and ambient podcasts were logging a mind-blowing 3 million daily consumption hours on Spotify. Hold on to your headphones because here comes the twist. Spotify's very own algorithm, designed to push talk content, inadvertently fueled this white noise bonanza. But as the saying goes, too much of a good thing might not be great for the bottom line. When Spotify caught wind of the white noise podcast sensation, a tantalizing proposal hit the table banished these tranquil tones from the talk feed, redirect listeners to more budget-friendly options, and potentially boost the company's annual gross profit by a jaw-dropping 35 million euros, or about $38 million. But, as fate would have it, this proposition never saw the light of day. Now, before you start thinking that white noise podcasts vanished into thin air, rest assured they're still around. But there's been a bit of turbulence along the way. Reddit threads and tales from anonymous podcasters reveal moments when these peaceful shows mysteriously vanished from the platform. Imagine the confusion! And while Spotify maintains they're still committed to white noise, the impact of these disappearances on podcasters' audiences is undeniable. One white noise podcaster, seeking anonymity, revealed the turbulence they experienced as their episodes mysteriously vanished, not once, but twice. Downloads plummeted, listeners scattered, and the road to recovery was paved with challenges. Spotify maintained their stance, stating they regularly run tests and collaborate with creators to navigate such hiccups. But this curious saga isn't limited to podcasts. It's echoing through the music world, too. Spotify's white noise podcast puzzle mirrors a parallel dilemma in the music realm. Executives from Universal Music Group and Warner Music have bemoaned the fact that noisy songs are cutting into the royalty pool shared by superstar musicians. But what's even more intriguing is how Spotify's podcast pivot has not only diverted listeners' attention from chart-topping tracks, but also whisked them away into the calming haven of white noise soundscapes. Spotify's journey from music streaming to the soothing symphonies of white noise podcasts has been nothing short of fascinating. The battle between profitability and preserving auditory peace continues, leaving us with a lot to think about. So, what are your thoughts on this unexpected twist in the Spotify saga? Be sure to hit that like button and share your opinions in the comments section below. 
please subscribe so we can keep you updated. And as always, stay tuned for more captivating audio insights right here on our channel.